Mr. Beans. Thank everyone. And today we're doing something a little different. We haven't done this yet on our GameStorm channel. Um, we're trying to, you know, get a whole broad range of geekiness and nerdiness into this channel rather than it just being about games. We like things gaming related, anime, movies, whatever. Anything that a geek would like. So, we actually just went and saw Wreck-It Ralph at a theater and it was pretty bomb. Yep. Pretty bomb. I so we're here to talk about it. We won't spoil anything. Don't worry about that. Anyway, <laughs> this movie is great because it's game related. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. There we go. There you go. My name's Wreck It Ralph. I'm gonna wreck it! 30 years I've been doing this. I can fix it! It's hard to love your job when no one else seems to like you for doing it. You're just the bad guy who wrecks the building. <laughs> Okay, I'm okay. If I'm really honest with myself, it sure must be nice being the good guy. Ralph, you are bad guy, but this does not mean you're bad guy. I don't want to be the bad guy anymore. <laughs> All right, so what were your initial thoughts, guys? I'm just gonna leave this up to them. Mainly, I'm here for moral support. <laughs> All right, Beans. I need I need lots of moral support. Let me watch this. <laughs> um. Well, that. from the previews, that. I kind of didn't really know what to expect. Well, I knew it was about games, but that was about it. And, I mean, I didn't really know what to expect. I thought it was going to be kind of lame and corny, but, I mean, I actually liked it a whole lot. Way better than I expected. Um, I mean, all the references were really cool, and I liked you know, the way they did everything. And, oh, had a good story. Uh, pretty much the same on the previews. Like, it looks... Like, I was always interested in it, because, you know, gaming, you know, it has all the characters you recognize in there, you know, you got Zangief, you got Bowser, you got, you know, Sonic, all of them making appearances, uh, the Pac-Man Ghost, whichever one that went one is, or I don't know the name, I'm sure someone does. Uh, yeah, we'll get a comment, knows. we'll get a comment. Um, you know, it just has all these characters that, you know, all the game, you know, every gamer from pretty much any generation will recognize, I mean, Bowser is, you know, everyone knows him. And then uh, they also come up with like a bunch of original game characters to throw in there too because, you know, they couldn't just do nothing but already existing ones because one, that'd be expensive as hell, <laughs> yeah. and two, they couldn't really create their own original story with that. But the guys they did come up with, you know, you had Rick and Ralph, uh, the giant ham arm villain yeah. of uh, the, <laughs> the game <laughs> fixing <laughs> Felix. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you have Felix himself who's, you know, an extremely like old fashioned kind of guy. Yeah. Um, you got Vanellope from the Sugar Rush game, which is basically Mario Kart with candy. <laughs> yeah. Not crack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, you got all these characters, you know, King Candy, the crazy ass, you know, roller group, <laughs> the Sugar Rush game, the voice by Alan Tudyk, which I did not recognize at all. Like, ah. Uh, like, I didn't recognize his voice at all. He did a great job on that. Yeah. Like, yeah, all yeah. the voice acting was really good. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it was really good. Yeah. But, you know, uh, like, Beans was saying, like, the story was really good. You know, just from the previews, you get kind of get it. It's like, Ralph is tired of being the bad guy, tired of everyone always hating him because mm -hmm. he's just doing what he was programmed to do. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he wants to go out and try to be a good guy and get some respect and get, you know, people to actually like him. And in the process, you know, he ends up you know, screwing up other games because you can't, you know, go to another game when you're not in it. Right. And then, you know, it just causes a whole bunch of stuff, trouble and that's where the, you know, that's how the plot, you know, gets going. And then, you know, it has a bunch of little, you know, side things here and there with, like, the other characters. It's always really interesting, so. Or, you know, I really enjoyed it a lot more than I thought I would. And, you know, it was well done. You know, the animation was amazing. Yeah. Oh, wait, yeah. Yeah, they did a really good job. I really loved, like, the transition, like, early on. It was showing, like, the actual, like, the game, you know, of uh, Facebook oh, Felix yeah. or whatever. And then it's all pixelated, then it zooms in, and yeah, it's all, like, it the 3D. It, like, shows, really cool. like, the people in the arcade <laughs> playing the games, and the games are all 8-bit. And people are, like, normal, like, Pixar animation. And then it, like, zooms in to the actual game, yeah, and, and they true. become 3D and stuff. And it's, like, a totally different world. Yeah, that was sick. That yeah. was, and that, that, that was totally window, well. Where yeah, you can see the people playing the game. Yeah, it was really cool, especially how they, like, had all the characters where they still had, you know, their kind of in-game abilities. You know, like, mm -hmm. Felix could do, like, the super jumps no matter where he was or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Like, 
you know, the little magic hammer that fixes everything. That was that was really cool. Yeah. I like the humor in it, too. It was really funny. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. Walt Disney always does a good job yeah. with their animated films, like, with their humor and stuff. Um, like they were saying, pretty much, I really liked it a lot. Um, I didn't really know what to expect from it, from the previews, like they were saying. Um, I thought it might be kind of corny and stupid, but it actually was, like, really good. I mean, obviously, it's going to have that heartfelt Disney story yeah. to it. You know, like, oh, I'm so sad. Oh, I'm so happy. You know, like, that kind of stuff. <laughs> Which, you know, I'm totally cool with that, that you expect that. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, that, that's just how it goes, so. That was really cool. Um, one thing, I don't, it's not really a complaint. I understand why they had to do it. But it was like, uh, I'm not trying to spoil anything, but it's like, they go, you know, they show different parts, different aspects of how the games connect and stuff, all the different characters throughout the arcade. And then it mainly focuses on only one game throughout the entire story. Pretty much, you're only in one. You're only in Sugar Rush, that oh, yeah. that land, pretty much the whole time. But you know, I mean, I understand why they did it because that's where the, the story's focused. But I kind of would have wanted to see more of other games, like them interact with other players and stuff like that, which they kind of did at the start. But overall, it was just focused on one level, which is cool because they really needed to do that. I think if they would have done it with a whole bunch of different levels, it would have been too sporadic. And it wouldn't have been, it wouldn't have meshed together, in my opinion. So, the way they did it was perfect, in my opinion. I still would have liked to see a couple of other ones before he got to Sugar Rush, would have been neat. Yeah. Just, you know, trying out being a hero and a couple other ones. Mm -hmm. It was still funny as hell to watch him try and do his duty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they put a lot of thought into the story, it seemed like. And the, the games they just randomly made up for are actually kind of cool, too. Mm -hmm. Right? I wouldn't mind actually playing some of them. <laughs> I really wouldn't mind playing Sugar Rush. I know. At first it looked gay. <laughs> but, but yeah, so it's Mario Kart. Like, yeah. yeah. So many parts Mario Kart's always fun, like even if it is candy coated. Rainbow Road. <laughs> right? Yeah. That was so cool. Yeah, the, the, the little details, you know, yeah. gamers will recognize, and but it's not overdone to the point where, you know, non-gamers won't enjoy it. Yeah. Still, it's still a good movie. Whether you like games or not, but if, for those who do like games, there's that extra little bit that just makes it that much better. It had it to where, yeah, it's like a perfect blend of, if you're a non-gamer, or you're like an avid gamer like we are, there will be bits and pieces where like, non-gamers will get funny things, and then there's parts where only like gamers would get it type of thing, but it's like not focused only towards, you know, just straight gamers, so the humor was for everyone, you know, so it was really good how they did it like that. Well, what would you guys rate? Like, give it. Like, you know, um, ABCD all the way. I would probably game. give it maybe... I like it a whole lot. <laughs> I'd yeah. probably give it either an A- minus or an A. Somewhere yeah. in there. I would That's say. I you know, I'm going to give A pluses to, like, the most amazing movies ever. <laughs> yeah. So I can't really give it that. It's not like, oh my god, I just blew my mind watching this movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like... I would say for like Avatar when I first watched that, I was like, WTF did I just watch? You know, like, holy crap. Pocahontas in 3D. Yes, <laughs> that's what I watched was Pocahontas in 3D. That's three basically what it was. But, uh. <laughs> I'm gonna get yeah. a lot of crap for that comment. I know. I it's one of my favorite movies. I'm sorry, guys. You hate Avatar. I guess you hate me. But, um. <laughs> I would probably give it like an A minus to an A, somewhere in there. What would you give it? I'd like? say a solid A. You know. Very nice. Yeah, I think it was pretty good. Yeah, I'd have to go with A too because you know, I liked it. Like, I never got bored. I yeah. loved the humor. I loved his little references and little extra details that you're in. It's something like there's very few movies that I'll see in a theater that I would actually go to the theater to see again. And this is one of them. Yeah, so, I would. Uh, yeah, I'm I already know. I'm most gonna definitely gonna get it when it comes out on DVD. Dude, I am. I would totally recommend want to. like any of my friends. I would recommend you see this. Yeah. So it's definitely an A, but you know. Like Audi, I don't want to give it an A plus just because I want to save that for like the really, really like special. Amazing. Yeah. So, so if you hear A plus from yeah. us, you might as well just go to like. It's going to be an awesome. Get a tattoo of the movie art on your arm because that's how good it is. Very solid A. Go see this movie if you haven't already. Right now, pause this video. Go. If you're a gamer, you have to watch it. In my opinion, if you don't go watch it, you're a gamer. Go kill yourself. You're stupid. Yes. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah, I'm, you're not, not I'm not kidding. You're not stupid if you don't watch this movie. That doesn't make sense at all. This <laughs> <laughs> is not, not oh. intellectual abilities in the slimes. 
Man, well... It might. Listening to him might. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. Well, guys, this has been our first movie critique slash discussion for the slash channel. review. Yeah, whatever you want to call it's it. It's a bunch of things. You know, it's a lot of things. I don't know how I'm going to title this. <laughs> but I guess, yeah, that's it. Mm-hmm. So thanks for watching. Go watch Wreck-It Ralph. Yep. Uh, we did not watch it in 3D, so it could be even better if you like 3D. Who knows? I cheat and don't like things. <laughs> yeah, that's how we are. We're college students. Sorry. But we watched it normally. It was great. You know, oh, we're going to go watch it again. So, yeah. Maybe in 3D. It'd, it'd be worse, I think. Just to go see what the differences yeah. are. <laughs> so, if you want to close it up, Mike? You've never done a close up? Close it up for us. I don't know. Just close it. <laughs> like, go up there and close the... No, thing. just close it. <laughs> just say goodbye. <laughs> All right. See you guys later. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> uh, <laughs>